The Lewis model, developed by economist W. Arthur Lewis in 1954, provides a theoretical framework for understanding economic development in developing countries with a surplus labor force. The model suggests that as economies transition from traditional agriculture to modern manufacturing, there is an unlimited supply of labor available at subsistence wages. This surplus labor can be absorbed by the expanding manufacturing sector, leading to increased productivity and economic growth. Application of the Lewis model in China China's economic transformation over the past few decades has been a remarkable success story and the Lewis model has been widely credited with playing a significant role in this achievement. China's adoption of market-oriented reforms in the late 1970s created an environment conducive to industrial growth. The country's vast rural population with its low labor costs provided a ready pool of workers for the expanding manufacturing sector. Several factors contributed to the success of the Lewis model in China. Government Policies The Chinese government actively promoted industrial development through a combination of incentives and subsidies. It also invested heavily in infrastructure and education, which helped to improve the productivity of the labor force. Special Economic Zones The establishment of special economic zones with their favorable investment conditions and tax breaks attracted foreign investments and contributed to the growth of export-oriented industries. Labor Mobility The Chinese government relaxed restrictions on labor mobility, allowing workers to move freely from rural to urban areas in search of employment opportunities. Demographic Dividend China experienced a demographic dividend with a large working age population relative to its non-working population. This provided a plentiful supply of labor for the expanding manufacturing sector. Challenges of applying the Lewis model in India. While the Lewis model has been successful in China, its application in India has been met with challenges. Despite having a large population and a surplus labor force, India has not been able to replicate China's rapid industrial growth. Several factors contribute to these challenges. Infrastructure bottlenecks India's infrastructure, particularly in transportation and electricity, is underdeveloped, which hampers the growth of manufacturing industries. Skill mismatch Many Indian workers lack the skills required for the modern manufacturing sector. This skill mismatch makes it difficult for them to find employment in the formal economy. Labor market rigidities Rigidities in the India's labor market, such as strict labor laws and restrictions on hiring and firing, make it difficult for businesses to adjust their workforce in response to changing economic conditions. Inefficient land markets Land markets in India are often inefficient with fragmented land holdings and complex ownership structures. This makes it difficult for businesses to acquire land for industrial development. Regional disparities India's economic development is uneven with some regions experiencing rapid growth while others remain largely agrarian. This regional disparity makes it challenging to implement policies that are effective across the country. Alternatives to Lewis model for India Given the challenges of applying the Lewis model in India, there is a need for alternative development strategies. Some of the proposed alternatives include promoting rural development, focusing on improving the productivity of agriculture and creating non-farm employment opportunities in rural areas can reduce the pressure on urban labor markets and improve the livelihoods of rural populations. Enhancing education and skill development. Investing in education and skill development can equip Indian workers with the skills required for the modern economy making them more employable and contributing to higher productivity. Promoting entrepreneurship Encouraging entrepreneurship and small business development can create new employment opportunities and foster innovation. Reforming labor laws Making labor laws more flexible can help businesses adjust their workforce in response to changing economic conditions and improve employment opportunities for workers. Promoting regional development Implementing policies that stimulate economic growth in less developed regions can help reduce regional disparities and promote inclusive development. To conclude, the Lewis model has been a valuable framework for understanding economic development in developing countries. However, the model's application in India has been met with challenges due to the factors such as infrastructure bottlenecks, skill mismatch and labor 
lower market rigidities. Alternative strategies such as promoting rural development, enhancing education and skill development and fostering entrepreneurship may be more effective in addressing India's unique development challenges.